Wow, just check that out. That is just sensational. Try and zoom in a bit for you. There you go. Look at those mountains just there. Fantastic. And the vineyards and the, the fields out over there. And then you can't see much more here because of this uh, big pile of uh, looks like lantana but uh, yeah just uh, showing stopping to show you this because that's pretty amazing just as we're going past thought we'd pull over and take a quick picture of this beautiful little town here don't know what it is we're just traveling through but again look at the fantastic scenery Wow, amazing. Hey, good day. Uh, we are today, well, we stayed last night in the town of Siguenza. Again, forgive me for my pronunciation, anyone who can speak Spanish, Siguenza. And we've come up to the top of the hill here to have a look at the castle. Now, the castle was built in the, uh, the, uh, the 8th century originally. So back in the 900s after the Arabs invaded, um, the castle here was built and, uh, or the fortress was built. Now what uh, you'll see in a minute is, is not the original. Um, parts of it are original, but it has been rebuilt. Some of the walls and the foundations of the castle are original. Up there to battlements. We're going to walk around and have a look up this way. Some more of the walls and the battlements just here. Can't even see if you can see anything, the sun's so bright. <laughs> the car said it was about 18. So, we'll go for a quick look through the wall here. Let's see what else we can see. You can see that the inside here is also turned into a bit of a car park. Maybe there's those massive big turrets there. It's fantastic. So this is the view from the, uh, the outside car park here at the castle here in Siguenza. Oh, you might be able to hear the bells in the background for 10 o'clock. Great view. And then you have the castle just here. We found this little fella just sitting on a rock here. He's not flying away. He doesn't look like he's injured or in pain or anything. Just a baby, or she, very little. She stays okay. We're heading back down to Dougal now, um, but the bells have started going and we don't know why. We thought it might have been, you know, there's one clock here that's a little bit later than others but it's rung like 30 times now or something. Maybe they're being invaded. I don't even know where the church is. It's down there somewhere. Oh well, we'll go back up to Dougal and, uh, and start to make our way uh, to the next town. As we're driving along, we've seen these fields of red there was another one that was much more huge, but um, there was no stopping at all and it was on the side of a busy uh, freeway. So we didn't want to take the risk, but uh, we found this one here. Look at them all, uh, red poppies. Just beautiful. In the 
green grass and the blue sky. Fields of red poppies. Just stopped at a pool over here alongside a lake. There are people down the bottom fishing. You might be able to see a fishing pole there. Uh, there's people further over, over there. Lots of people down on the side of the lake here. Pretty cracker of an aqueduct over there, bridge going across. And the road leading to here is some of the best motorcycle road I've ever seen. <sighs> I've been annoying the motorcyclists who uh, keep wanting to go past and I'm driving <laughs> slower. Uh, but it's amazing. It's just beautiful. Just to give you another look here, better view of the, uh, the aqueduct. Very nice. The colour of the water, look at it. How nice is that? go for a swim. Beautiful. The boat going through. Up through the middle here of the, uh, the waterway. I don't know if it's a river or a lake. I'm not sure. There's people fishing down there. the little birdies flying, flitting around. Just driving along, found a spot to pull over and just wanted to show you these fields of poppies. The fields of red, look at them, how vivid and amazing are they? They're just beautiful and awesome. They're just spectacular. The camera is having a hard time focusing on it, but have a look at the size of this uh, dandelion kind of thing. Uh, camera's not focusing on it. There you go. So that's what it looks like. Make a fist, Jen. It is <laughs> not much smaller than Jen's fist. Actually, it's probably it's bigger. It's probably bigger than Jen's fist. We're just up on the hills of the town of, I don't know how to pronounce it, but let's go Cueco. C-U-E-C-O, I think it is, Cueco. Uh, and these are the uh, the valleys and the cliffs just here behind it. Look at the house over there. I'll zoom in. House over there on the plateau. But uh, yeah, it's just pretty amazing here. We'll show you more of the area here as we just go for a walk down that direction over there. So I'll just do a, a pan around here so you can have a look. The cliffs, over on the cliffs on the other side over there, there's a whole stack of motorhomes and people park. They're probably going for walks and things like that. Down over this way is the, the city. The city is built on the side of on the side of the hill. Some of the houses are cantilevered on the hill itself. But how amazing is that? Beautiful city here of Cueco. Well, Jen and I are out for a wander. Uh, we've left our hotel a little while ago. Um, it's pretty warm. <laughs> I don't know how hot, but it'll be in the high 20s. And uh, we've come across this park, Parca Palmera, I think it was. Or well, I interpret that to say the Park of Palms. There's lots of palm trees in this park. Um, there's a few water features and, and other things. So yeah, um, I'll flip it around and you can have a look. So yeah, lots of palm trees. There's kind of steps and things here that you can sit on and that, and going down to a water feature down there. I don't think you can swim in it. Um, there's a bar, cafe kind of thing over this side, just behind those trees, and we're just heading there now for water. There's Jen all covered like she's back in Taiwan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna go down and get ourselves some water because we are thirsty as because it's pretty darn hot. 
So we are at El Palmero, which is the park here in Spain, in Alicante, and uh, we just uh, stopped at the, uh, the the bar cafe thing here. Um, and this is our lunch. This is my birthday lunch. Uh, it's tapas, patatas con ajo. Forgive my Spanish. Patatas con ajo, which is potatoes with garlic. And there is so much garlic in it. It's so strong. We're going to stink. Good thing we're having the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and look, I got a sugar-free Coke as well. I'm trying to be good now that I'm 49. Sugar-free Coke. All right, I'm going to dig in. Is it good? Not bad. So after our lunch, we're just going for a walk through the park here. Look how pretty. Look at the water, how nice. Running down through the pools here. Oh, just lovely. We're assuming that you're not allowed to go and, and play in the water because there's nobody here doing so. But if you were allowed, I would expect that everybody would be uh, in there and having a fun time. The next day. Today we've uh, we've come out uh, to a lookout just up the road from where we live. Uh, Mirador del Far de Santa Paula. Mirador del Far de Santa Paula. So we're just walking on the path that's heading out there at the moment. We'll show you what it looks like once we get there. All right, so just heading out here. You can see the uh, the landscape that we have. We're on a, uh, a big sandstone platform sort of thing. It's apparently about five kilometers in size. Uh, and it's up overlooking the, uh, the ocean over here. Um, our day is uh, a little bit um, hazy and slightly overcast. Beautiful temperature wise about 23, 24, um, but there's quite a lot of uh, sea fog or haze or something like that. It's not heat haze or anything, but uh, quite a lot of sea fog or haze. So we can't see very far out to sea or anything. So <coughs> they've got this little bridge here that comes on out and goes out to a lookout point out over that way go for a walk on it and have a look and see what we can see. I think on a bright sunny day where the sea is very blue and beautifully coloured, uh, I think this would be just an amazing spot. You might be able to see the, uh, the different colours of the ocean out there, the coral in the area. Alright, so we're just heading out to the uh, the end point here, the lookout point out the end. What was the word for lookout? Um, starts with M. <laughs> starts with M. <laughs> so the word for lookout was mirador. Mirador. Okay, so we're right at the end of the lookout here. Some girls sitting on the uh, on the cliffs over there. Uh, I think they're doing some artwork. And then you've got the the beach down here. towards Alicante, up there, and then if I turn back around, back towards where we live, down over that way. This over here is the lighthouse, or the Faro de Santa Paula, the Santa Paula lighthouse. Set high up on the hills here on the cliffs, can be seen out to to sea for quite a way. Um, can be 
be seen flashing at night from Alicante. And there's a radar station here as well. On the tower just there you can see that radar station tracking the ships and things like that that are in the area. But the Faro de Santa Paula. All right, well, we're just making our way back to the car park now to Señor El Dugol. That would be his name in Spanish, wouldn't it? Señor El Dugol. 